Hello everyone, I'm Yue Sun from the University of Tokyo. Today, I'd like to share with you our recent research on intrusion detection with segmented federated learning for large-scale multiple lines. Did you know that by 2020, the number of IoT devices in homes will rise to 12.86 billion? Did you know that hacker attacks occur every 39 seconds? Especially due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it shows an imperative need for automation and uh, digitalization in various industries. As a result, robust network monitoring systems for safeguarding these networks becomes extremely significant, detecting and tracking malware in a network. First, I'm going to present the motivation of this research about the isolated detection then I will share with you the proposed uh, segmented federated learning. And I will evaluate the scheme by using big data from 20 networks. Finally, I will conclude the research. To begin, I'd like to share with you the traditional federated learning proposed by Google. Instead of uploading local traffic data to a century server, Federated learning allows participants to initialize and train a machine learning module uh, using their local dataset. Through uploading parameters of these trained models, the central server conducted the aggregating function to generate a global model for the intelligence sharing among participants. However, we can see some problems existing in this scheme. The, uh, the training data is too diverse for a traditional federated learning. The data inside the different network environments are so different from each other. And the second, different data size of the participants. Uh, for example, pictures from the ones with smaller data sets uh, will be erased by the larger ones. Third, one participant keep increasing the waiting time for upload, updating the global model uh, goes to overflow the limit time of a round. This leads me to my next point. Here is the proposal, the segmented federated learning. Uh, different from the traditional federated learning, where a global model is used for aggregating parameters from participants, the segmented uh, FAO would allow the scheme keeps the multiple global models. Besides, these models are allowed to share information with each other as well. Moving on to the next point, I would like to describe some features of the segmented federated learning. Um, the features include the multiple global models, there's a limited participants updating, regular performance evaluation for the structure adjustment. I'd like to bring your attention to this graph. The segmented federated learning keeps multiple global models, which allows participants to conduct the collaborative learning separately in a small segment. Uh, for example, in this, uh, in this graph, the participants uh, one and the three are working together under the same global model. However, participant two, since it doesn't fit the global model one, be being moved to under the global model two for further learning. Here are some equations we adopt to decide the aggregating and the performance evaluation for structure transformation. Based on the former global parameters, the parameters from the participants who conducted the training and as well as the other global models parameters, we update the global parameters every epoch. And uh, for the evaluation, we evaluate the uh, divergency between the accuracies uh, of all the participants. Um, now let's move on to the next sector. Uh, here is the design of a model protocol for parameter sharing. Uh, 
for the local neural network, we uh, we adopt uh, two convolution layers. We adopt uh, two convolution layers, each of which is followed by a max plane layer and two fully connected layers. The feature maps uh, of the local datasets is used as an input and uh, uh, results from an expert knowledge based labeling uh, is used as an output. The other the other hyperparameters uh, it show uh, on the right side. In this research, uh, we adopt uh, experiment data from 10 participants uh, uh, local area networks in the line security monitoring project uh, we conducted before. In this project, a small device uh, a smart device was uh, developed based on a uh, Raspberry Pi. This device is connected to a LAN port of the switching hub or router for collecting network traffic data in LAN. Then this data are compressed and transferred to a central server for anomaly detection. The collected network traffic data include all the broadcast traffic in LAN and any communications sent directly to the devices, which are collected in the format of the PCAT files. The next thing I will share with you is the knowledge-based library methods. In this research, we adapt uh, uh, three knowledge-based approaches to label feature maps of the network. And we consider these three types of uh, anomalies for detection by applying the corresponding rulers to the network traffic, which are uh, the following malicious uh, SMB, TCP SIM flooding, malicious UDP unicast. Now let's take a look at the result. Here is a graph of the te test accuracy under the case of uh, malicious SMB. Here, as we can see, almost all participants' local models achieve a stable test accuracy at 60 rounds learning with an average validation accuracy of 0 0.923. And uh, here is a paragraph to illustrate the segmentation of participants' local neural networks. Uh, it shows the progress of the learning model, model's segmentation under the circumstance of the three library models. In this case, it's the malicious SMB. So what we can learn from this paragraph? We can see uh, at the first round, all the nodes from 1 to 20 are under the segment 1. And after 16 rounds learning, uh, there are five segments in total. Uh, which has different uh, groups of participants uh, under it. To summarize, uh, the isolated anomaly detection in a network uh, is uh, addressed by using this uh, segmented federated learning approach. And uh, it's a pr proposed to solve the problem of various adaptivity of uh, participants to the single group model. Uh, in a federated learning scheme as well. Uh, regular performance evaluation is conducted uh, automatically for trans transforming the structure of the system. We provide insights on intelligent networking and the anomaly detection using the distributed neural networks for anomaly information sharing among various networks. And that brings us to the end. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention today. I would be happy to answer any questions you may have now.